Uh, I just knew I was going to make that mistake. I uh, went back one where I wasn't supposed to and... Because the first time I went through South Figaro, I was supposed to go back one in a similar place. But this time I'm not supposed to, so... Because I'm just, like, one tile off. So yeah, let's go through this again. Oh, I messed this up already. One, two, now I should be in the right spot. One, two, three, All right, let's fight this guy. <laughs> All right, still first try again. That's good. Okay, right, one step to the right, run out, now I run back in to check if I'm there, because if that lady got in my way again, then uh, the door wouldn't have opened there. One, two, three. And I'm not supposed to go right three, I'm supposed to go right two, so I'm going to go back to the right one. Left. Down. Left into the rich guy. Well, one of the rich guy's houses. There's a couple rich people around here. Hit the suit of armor, go back, run down the staircase, and talk to this guy. And now the menu shouldn't open here, which it didn't. So I'm good. And now the menu should open, which it did, so I'm still good. One, two, three. Straight up and out, just like I wanted. Alright, so now I run up here. Now time to get what I came to this scenario for, which is the Bio Blaster. The main issue with uh, doing my scenarios in a different order between the two uh, different games is that I may start forgetting things after a while because uh, I'm doing them at different times. Like normally, I record like one right after the other so that I don't forget the route. Don't take a step back this time. Don't take a step back this time. And because I don't uh, forget the route, I. I only have to memorize it once, so it saves a lot of time, but up to the top here. At the top of the staircase here, this part's pretty easy to remember in general. Because uh, there's such a wide uh Every movement I make swings so wide that it's easy to visualize. Nice, got it. I uh, My plan was just to walk uh, back and forth down there until I got it. The only pain in the butt with that is that if I do what I did last time and 
mess up between buying the Bio Blaster and getting to that guy. I can't really tell for sure if I've messed up. He may just be wandering around in a stupid place and I can't figure it out. So now I've got the soldier uniform. So I gotta go all the way back up to the top. Right, so behind this house again. It's an overly large house. So now I gotta run across here. For quite a distance. It's like half of the entire map of South Figaro. Down here. <coughs> two steps up, two steps right, to line myself up with the staircase again. Now I go down. Is it really four steps to the left here? It seems a little far. I'll trust my memory though. One, two, three, four. So I run all the way down here where this stupid kid is wandering around. And I go all the way to the left here. Okay, good. I was just double checking that there wasn't a line of dialogue after I defeated that soldier. There was after I defeated the merchant and... If I get... I guess, no, not really, only if I talk to him again. No, it, it pops up either way. Anyway, I probably moved far enough left, although it's always good to have a safety net with this kid running around. Two to the right. This is the most dangerous part, because that guy could get my way. And now I line myself up with this suit of Magitek armor. Take two steps down to line myself up with the other suit of Magitek armor. And that lines me up directly with this soldier. Theoretically, if that kid didn't do anything stupid, which he may have. So I'll talk to this guy, check if my menu's open, which it isn't, which means it's working. Run down to the bottom. Take a bunch of steps right and down. Now thankfully I can check if this guy gets in my way, because if he gets in my way, I'm going to talk to him and steal his clothes. Two. Okay, so he didn't get in my way, which means I'm going into the cafe. Alright. To the right. Up. This is the other place where NPCs might really decide to mess with me. One up. And now I gotta dash to the right for a very long time just to make sure, especially since if uh, somebody gets stuck in front of me, there's a good chance they'll get stuck in front of me for quite a while because of all those tables and chairs in the way. The soldiers tend not to get out of the way very nicely. Now the worst thing that could happen is if I'm taking a step down in a place like this and a soldier steps my way at that moment. One down. At least I get some pretty much immediate feedback from the door down here. Good, I made it. So run off all the way into this little slot here. Do mash A while pressing down and right. Now here's the most dangerous part. Well, battle-wise anyway. If this guy just- if I fail to steal twice, this guy might uh, summon an army of merchants and wipe out all my progress up to this point, and as you could probably tell, that would just suck, so... It appears that didn't happen, though. Which is good, because during testing it happened, like, twice. Alright. I'm almost home free. Left one. Down here. One, two, three. Alright, I should be lined up at the staircase. One up. And, yeah. I gotta go back through this again. 
which is just great. There's always a possibility that that soldier could wander down to this area and when I'm trying to go here and I could get stuck, like, no matter how long I hold the button. It would be a real shame to lose it here, so I'm putting a lot of safety on it. Alright, one down, down the staircase. Down to the bottom. Two left, and out the door. Okay, so I happened to talk to the soldier. I figured, uh... If he gets in my way, I... I'll let him kill me, and if he doesn't get in my way, I'll be able to count out the steps nicely to get to the Magitek Armor guy and have him kill me. And dying here, like, obviously isn't a game over, I wouldn't be doing it, that would be kind of stupid. Dying here takes me right back to, uh... Duncan's house, Duncan's wife's house, and there's a save point in Duncan's wife's house, even though that's normally useless during normal play. Well, I guess not really that useless, if you don't know how to do the scenario already. Yes, I'm dead. Alright. One step to the left, into the doorway. Left, down, all the way to the right. Thankfully Duncan's wife is being nice and sitting in a chair rather than walking around the room. And I made it! Nice! Took me 12 minutes. That's actually a little bit faster than I thought it would be. Then again, I guess this is Brave New World where I have the dash command. The next one, though, it would be a pain if I died there. Okay. So now I can exit. One, two. Get onto the staircase. Go down the staircase. Go down a bit. Slide into this thing behind the house. Uh-oh, what happened? It wasn't two steps back, it was... Oh no, I'm supposed to go in the door there. Nope, my internet didn't pop up again. Alright, so I'm going to go my way to the bottom left. Go all the way to the right. Take one step left. Now hopefully down onto the staircase. Okay, so let's try again. All the way down, left, right a bit. And down left again. This time I'm aiming for a different spot. Right, two. Up to the top. Presumably up the staircase. One, two. Dang it, I don't know what happened. Oh, start. Oh. How did that happen? Not really, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, I may remember the routes when I could actually do it the second time and not have to re memorize it. Of course, the route for this part will be different because I've got that secret passageway in the vanilla, which makes this spot a whole lot easier. Left one, up a bunch. Is, this a, is there a guy walking around up here? I think it's just the one to the left, so I think I'm pretty safe. Left. This part's easy to remember. This. All the movements are pretty wide, so it's not that hard to visualize this area. Of course, I've got to walk quite a distance, but... Alright, so the soldier's patrolling somewhere around here. So I'm just going to keep walking up and down until I find him. Last time I got him in two passes. But this time, I'm not getting so lucky. Hopefully I'm in the right spot. This is worrying, because... He really may just be walking around towards the bottom there, but... At the same time, I may be in the wrong place. I must presume I'm checking the bottom here. If not, there's a possibility I'll just happen to walk into the right spot, but... Yeah, I think I might have messed it up. It just sucks, because I might, I might have messed it up, and I might not have. It's impossible to tell. I'm just going to call it. 
yeah, I'm in the middle of nowhere. 